this was the best book of the week. It's starting that out there, right there. This was a close second, but but this was the best DC book of the week, at most. And before I begin my review, I'd like to state that 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 um. They don't reveal who they don't reveal who caused all of the the um thing in crossover in this. And it's not the last issue. So they outright lie. So that knocked a few points off. But and again, if if you want me to review where I think these Earth Prime books fit in canon, I will, but that's only if you guys want it. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a stupid video just because I feel like it this time. If, if there's no demand for it, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do, so think about that. When I review th this book. And also, Happy Father's Day. To all you lucky, lucky fathers out there. Um. Okay. And I think I'm ready to start the review. I don't got nothing to say about hardware. Hardware gave you a solid ending. It, it got points for that. I like this because, like I said, it was the best DC book of the week. Even putting crossover aside. Because even Mom could feel bad for Psycho Pirate, and they still haven't explained how he's hopping forward through time. We know it has something to do with the mask. Time and reality. There you go. Um... But we we don't know how it affects Roger Hayden's physical body, which they may never explain. But they did kind of address it because he said, "I'm not the real Roger Hayden." But theory time. I think he hasn't been the real Roger Hayden since Animal Man, when Grant Morrison wrote it, which you can totally see in my holiday playlist. The in the or in the Animal Man one, yeah, I think it's an Animal Man. Anyway, self promotion there, just a little bit. Like I said last time, this made the. The Flashpoint Batman see more evil. He starts tripping out and hallucinating when um he sees his wife when he's interviewing um Harvey Dent's wife 
and explains to her that he has the kid. Or she somehow finds out. I forget which. But that's not important. He, he, he just starts losing it. And she doesn't help. She calls him this, that, and the other. Um, so, anyway, oh, she finds out from Psycho Pirate that he has his, um, she has her, he has her son. There you go. That sounds like the man in the mask told me before he was killed or it was a suicide, like I said. He, whether or not it's a suicide, he, he, um, is dead now in that reality and ain't coming back. And he, he figured out that he is not the real Roger Hayden. Regardless of what your theory is, if you agree with mine. He, he was desperate toward the end. He started doing like a riff on a chalkboard thing. And I love that, so I absolutely... I absolutely loved Roger Hayden scrawling up on the walls at the end. It was like, the first shock for it all over again, yay! That, that gave it a few points. I, just how they included all of Final Crisis, even the 3D part. I really think this is going to be included in some trade somewhere. If not by itself, but by... So, by... A big, huge... I called it... Um, by a big, huge... Dark Crisis... Omnibus type deal. Yeah. That's how they're gonna get you. I already know. I've seen it, I've seen it happen before. This just seems like it would fit perfectly into what they're doing. We didn't finish. We still haven't read. Dark Crisis number one, but if zero is any indication, this will fit perfectly. And they imply that it had something to do with the Watchmen at the very end because of the snow globe. So he says, if Corky Baxter says that if the the real owner of that snow globe comes and finds the Prime Earth Batman, basically he's toast. But he's not scared because he's done this before with the button. I don't know why he's not scared, or maybe it's just he's not scared because he's Batman. But they do imply that I think they're heavily implying Watchmen, and that might mean they're implying metal. So I I don't know. Like I said, I would like to know where this fits in between this metal and dark crisis that would that would make it a give it a almost perfect score um this one's really tough to grade so i give it 
I see. Sometimes they do numbers, sometimes they do letters. You gotta see. There is no absolute A plus books in this pile, but. There are C pluses. Yeah. And there are definite ends, which I appreciate. Let's talk about one right now. Both these hardware books. I can't wait till this one comes out in trade. Because hardware was one of those stories that picked up toward the end. It wasn't like um that one where where if it peters off it's gonna be a huge disappointment. <laughs> it had this had nowhere to go but up. And when, when Icon shows up at the end, I was like, yeah, that's Icon, that's awesome. Because I've come to the conclusion I just love Icon. <laughs> I could, and I hope the rumor's true that they're gonna um, get Icon and Hardware to fight at some stage. It didn't demand I pick up Blood Syndicate, so that was a plus. I don't know if I want to. There was a really cool fight. They... They had him lose touch with his robot heart, his skeets, basically. Let's see. What else? It, the end here felt like an old Dwayne McDuffie book. This still felt like exactly what I told you it was gonna feel like in my in my last review of hardware. A reprint issue. Which lost points altogether. So, um, yeah. <sighs> Hardware and Icon had a commercial for Earth, something on Earth M. And I thought this was on Earth. Um, I thought this whole... So somebody clarify me on that. But the bad guy didn't get away, which, again, that's always a plus. Because, you know, everybody's... Every one of these is somebody's first comic. I'm just screwing up a lot today. But, anyway. I feel we should always keep that in mind. There's, even if you don't intend these books for younger audiences, it, it should be, in the back of your mind, what if some kid picks this up? And, and we don't want to show every book being Magog killing the Joker, because Magog killing the Joker was kind of crazy. I mean, it needed to happen to get the point across, but and that book was for adults. But this, this was meant to empower, you know, so. Um, to see that Elba 
lost in the end was just wonderful. You know, they could have had him blow up or be a, um, get sucked away into a different dimension or never reveal his identity till the very, till like years later. Those are all real life examples, by the way. The Flash, Booster Gold. And, or they could have had him fly away, like Icon did in the original thing. Yeah. You get the point. Another tough one to grade. I guess I'd give it a three. So again, maybe a C, maybe a D. I don't know. But the Batman one, as I was explaining it to you, I, I realized that it's not going to stick in your mind. I mean, it's stuck in my mind. This might stick in your mind better. But this, for big nerds, is not, is not, it's not going to be one of your favorite books because it feels like the first half, it feels like a first half, and this feels like a second half, where this feels like a reprint, and that feels like a fresh story, and you should always have a fresh story. Um, on to crossover. As I said in the beginning, I was disappointed they lied. They outright lied. They said this is going to be the final issue, and they, and it's not going to be. I mean, but I was happy because crossover is one of my favorites, and it, it is kind of like that big Marvel DC crossover we might never get again. You know, and. For me, that alone makes it worthwhile. I mean, they didn't say that Entropy doesn't control the writers. They, did, they didn't say that... The um, thing that happened... It, wasn't caused by anything like that, but at the same time, they said it was getting worse, so whatever they're going to do with the end being the way it is, kill Jeff Shaw being the last words that Donny Cates ever spoke in the, in the crossover universe, He obviously knows more, and if 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 I'm right, they're being controlled by a being outside the story. Um, I guess they could go that route and just have wipe out the whole creative team, but I hope they don't. I hope it's not like Rorschach where I predict the end. I don't like books where I predict the end. I like to be surprised. And that's what crossovers that's what what crossover has been a, a joy to read because of I I can't predict what's gonna happen to ellipses. I can't predict what's going to happen to Madman or what's going to happen to his insane father that blew himself up. Yeah, I, I just spoiled that. I didn't like that character very much. Is it going to feature more Savage Dragon? Who knows? It's always fun to, you know, 
I, I liked his Donny Cates' last speech, though, that the world doesn't revolve around him. And as someone who's been trying to do the meta thing with his own story, I, I can say with experience that that is hard to do. You, you almost get lost in your own little world, and, and the trick is coming out of that world. No. The trick is breaking out of the bubble for a few minutes. Without spoiling it, because although I did spoil the hell out of that Batman that I liked, they liked this too. Without spoiling it, I will say it was a good book. It doesn't rely too much on, oh, this is going to be in a trade. It doesn't feel like a reprint, it doesn't feel like a gimmick. I'm seriously considering just buying the 3D issue next week. Or not next week. Next time. Next time. Um, next month, next time, whenever. They're going to come out with the 3D issue just for a 10 page story, which they outright tell you it, it's going to be a 10 page gimmick issue so yeah i would give it almost the same grade as batman i gave batman a c so do with that what you will so um yeah, let's let's give let's give crossover about that too. But let's knock off like two or three points because crossover lied and I I, I feel that at this point, we need honesty with our readers. We don't need to be lied to. They could have done it where it was... They could have said, oh, it was Donny Cates' last issue. Or, or um... They could have said... Yeah. I, I don't know. But there, there's always a way. Now, on to... Stargirl and the end of the video. Okay. Stargirl, I was right. It was my dog. I was able to predict that. But at the same time. It was. Not. It was a weird Magog because he hates the Flash for some reason now, which Magog isn't a Flash villain. He's a Superman villain. Why would he dislike the Flash? I mean, I'm sorry if it feels like I'm letting you do your own ratings, but the whole pile was pretty good this week. And, um, I like stuff like how they included a lot of the members of the Justice Society in this book. There was a lot of head nods, like, okay, we see you. We see you, Sparky fans. We see you, Sparky, the original Blue Beetle sidekick, which made me wonder, does Earth 2 have a Ted cord, too? I don't know. And I like that the needle didn't go back to his evil ways. And I I don't know how that, that's going to connect to the main... I wonder if they're just going to finish it on the show. 
if they're if they're misleading us and and just going to finish the this whole one on the show. Not not in book form. Are they gonna say, Oh, Courtney Courtney flew up and I don't know, found the flash from the John Wesley ship show and have him appear again. Or something foolish like that. Um, overall, it was a good book. Like I said, I liked that they made me feel smart. That they had Liberty Bell. They referenced the Flash being dead, but I don't think the Flash would tell the Needle if he was dead or not. So. Am I forgetting anything about the Star Girl book, Mom? I don't imagine that that I would waste Courtney's first appearance in the comic book, but at the same time, I think they could make reference to it. They could like skip ahead a few years to it in a flashback, make everybody happy. Yeah. Like they did with the the reverse flash on the most recent show. They included his whole past. You know. Yeah. Um, they didn't do the three stories thing. It was all one story, which was kind of cool. But at the same time, I do like the three stories, but just, I didn't like it in the, in all of it being in all of the shows, but this would have fit because it, it's part of the Justice Society, and I still think she's going to meet Tom from the future. Like, from... Jeff John's Justice Society book, but that's just a theory. Anyway. Am I wrong? Is this gonna go to to the um great comic pile? Or is this gonna go to the four comic pile, where, where, where the, um, Wal, where the Walmart books of crisis go to everybody else but me, where I'm the only one that likes, yeah. Let me know if you liked it too. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, let me know your feeling on if Courtney should be in the rest of the Arrowverse. Do I not talk about Arrowverse enough? Um, you want to hear more about how Hardware would be good in trade, or who else I'd include in crossover? Like, definitely comment. Good for thought, you know, and subscribe. Yeah, I've been Bob. Thank you for listening to my ramblings about how to
part where is better will be better in trade and how this would be suited to to have three stories in it. Um, you know, stupid stuff like that. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time. Oh, I know. Also, also, can Roger Hayden from this book see Lucille from the Arrowverse? Because she is the one that the mask shows there. Is my is my theory wrong? I've been Bob. This has been the other world according to Bob. Bob out. I had fun. I had fun. Yeah, there were a lot of, we gotta find the mouse demo. Help me out. Mouse. It, I have it in my hand, but it's not showing up on screen. Weird, huh? This is a whole interview and have it not be taping. It was taping. It was taping. There's the red the dot over there. I was seeing.